guys, no guys, no guys, Hello. Welcome to our reaction channel. Today we are uh, continuing with our Better Call Saul reactions. We're in season 2, episode 4, Gloves Off. Oh, hey! I think this is one of the first episodes that's not one word. Oh. Most of the names of the episodes are one word, if mm -hmm. I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So, uh, before we begin, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you want to watch any of our full-length reactions, any of our better call Saul reactions, or Breaking Bad, uh, you can find them out on my Patreon, linked to in the description box. And I also have another YouTube channel, also linked to in the description box, if any of y'all want to go check it out. Okay, so, last episode. Um, I don't remember. Well, Saul went and got hopped on the bus to solicit. Oh, yes. And, and he made a commercial. Oh, yeah, he did the commercial then. And Cliff's not happy with him. Mm -mm. And Mike went to meet Nacho. Yeah. Because Nacho needs help with the guy. And I think Kim's not too happy with him either. With Jimmy? Yeah. Oh, so I met Mike. Yeah, but I met... Oh, she doesn't know about it all yet. Never mind. What? I switched to Mike and I said know. Nacho needs help with the guy, and then you said Kim doesn't... I think Kim's not too happy with Jimmy. Oh, okay. I was like, did well, I miss what I'd be talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah. She does. Well, she he's lying to her. Yeah. She doesn't know that. Oh, about the commercial that he lied yet. Yeah. That 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 they didn't approve of it. Yeah. Okay, dokie. All right. Did not just say who he wanted taken out. No. Very tired. <laughs> I don't think the guy sleeps. No, I know. When does he sleep? I don't know. Between working side jobs, helping his daughter-in-law, working a real job. Oh, did he get hit? He must have. When did he get hit? Did he miss something? No. Okay. I don't think. he's moving slow. I tell you, oh, he's moving I really slow. I don't think <laughs> we know anything. Oh, snap! That's more than just getting hit. Somebody, somebody's a boxer. Who's a boxer? Asking so many questions is so funny. <laughs> just like, what's going on? What happened? What happened? <laughs> My husband and I scrimped and saved <laughs> We did our best to build a. You hear that? Right there. That's the sound of victory. Jimmy, stop selling. <laughs> and don't act like you don't see the problem here. I don't. You cut us out. You did an end run around us. Exuberance is no excuse. Mm. Cliff, client outreach is my department. Now, you told me that from day one. Jimmy, if I put you in charge of payroll, would that mean I'd be OK with you giving everyone a million dollar bonus? <laughs> you and I did discuss the possibility of a commercial. Clients who wouldn't want to be associated with this kind of this. What's the wrong our with image, the commercial? Our reputation is something we've been carefully building for years. No, Their image is worth far more than any one case. Something like this could damage it. I don't understand how though. Because I think Suffice it's like it low budget, not up to their the room the executive moment. standards. The vote is currently two to one to fire you for cause. Oh. Well, compared to their swirly image commercial, oh yeah, that was so high budget. Well. Please call me before you talk to Howard. Mm -hmm. Okay? Bye. Uh, yeah. It's a simple question, Kim. Did you or did you not know about this commercial? I... Yes. He showed it to me. He showed it to you. We were caught flat-footed in front of our co-counsel, which I don't need to tell you does not reflect well on HHN. Mm. Or on you. Mm. Oh, she's gonna be mad at Jimmy. Mm-hmm. He's so smug. I can't see any check. That'll be all. You can go. Poor Kim. Kim. I know. <laughs> she was lied to by Jimmy. She didn't know anything. Now she has to take the fall for it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at him. What are you going to do? To go, he likes to get face to face. Says everything he needs to know is written right here. Looks him in the eyes. Just stares like he's looking inside of him. <laughs> I've seen him go like that five, ten minutes. Jesus. God, that'd be intimidating. And what does that accomplish? Fear? Uncomfortable? All that is lie detector. <laughs> That's why these things go all day. You see him packing up? 
drive over, pull up in the spot next to Tuco's, pop, headshot, roll out. Oh, let's take a Tuco? Easy. I-40 on ramp, it's eight well, blocks No, that don't up. happen. One comes in behind me, I'm blocked. Hmm. Who's gonna pull me behind you? Well, I'm guessing someone who likes tacos. <laughs> what then? What's my exit? I don't know. Get out and run. Oh, God. Bad knees. See this? No. Mm -mm. You know I got this? With the Back in 96, 97, Tuco and I were working with these bikers out of Riverside County. Oh. Sickest thing I ever saw to this day, and this, oh. a piece of dog's skull. Oh. Under the skin, a little piece of it. Oh, crap. I tried digging it out, but it's in there pretty good. Ugh. Anyway, not the kind of thing you go to the doctors for. <laughs> the thing about it was, Tuco really liked dog, kind of felt bad afterwards. But when he's using hmm. local, crazy. It's him or me. We know Tuco don't die. Right. That mean Notch is gonna die? I don't know. Because Notch is not breaking bad. You're right. Are you looking for Miss Wexler? I guess I'm too late, huh? No, she's still here. Where? Basement. Poor cow. <laughs> I know. Like, she didn't know. Well, it's because she spoke on behalf of Jimmy. And when she got him the, the gig there and... Kim. I'm talking to Howard. What? Call him a pig fucker? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I screwed up. You know, I know that. I'll explain it to him. No! Mm. Mm. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. If you go to Howard, you and I, we're done. Mm. So we're not done now. Oh, oh you're, you're on thin ice, I think, dude. I need this job. Right. We'll see over at the Chucksters. I was going to say, who cares about putting your stuff away? He's, no, he's still going. Jimmy! Away. Don't, I'd be petty. I'd be like, I would take my phone, I'd wave it in his face. I would take some of it off, not all of it. I'd leave like one thing. Jimmy. Why? Chuck! You want me to get you to the hospital? No. No hospital. No, I'm just taking the therapy. I'll be right. <laughs> Jimmy's still helping his oh. brother. <laughs> He's like, okay, push him off. Right. Get your yeah. ass off. <laughs> Chuck doesn't deserve Jimmy. Mm -mm. He has a mm. watch on. Did they make a mistake? <clears throat> Part of this show. Or is it not electromagnetic? I could use some tea. Thanks. I'm like, oh yeah, go, go, go make yourself some. <laughs> Like he's like, yeah. I know. You're like, you want to go, go make yourself some. <sighs> oh yeah, don't drink the tea, Chuck. <laughs> Jimmy nice. might be mad at you still. <laughs> now tell me, when Howard was making his management decisions, was he sitting on your knee with your arm <laughs> up his ass? <laughs> hey, can he talk while you drink a glass of water? <laughs> That's uncalled for. And if Howard were my puppet, he certainly wouldn't have recommended you to Davis mm. in Maine. I see. So she didn't know there was anything she was supposed to tell Howard. Right. As far as she was concerned, Cliff Maine was already looped in. Right. You told her he was? Yeah. Well, I let her to I believe that. It. Yeah. So it's on me, not her. She didn't say anything to us about that. Because well, she's she not going to throw well, Jimmy under the bus. She didn't want to make me look bad. You have to admit this shows a lack of judgment on her part. Oh my God. She knows you. She should have known better. Uh, you are such an asshole. I know. Oh, for pointing out that her one mistake was believing in you. Oh. For Christ's sake, can we get some perspective here? Perspective. Do you want perspective? I'll give you mine. Oh no. You're my brother. And I love really? you. Really? But you're like an alcoholic who refuses to admit he's got a problem. Um, Chuck. Now someone's giving you the keys to the school bus, me. and I'm not oh going to let you drive it off a cliff. 
<laughs> can we just get down to brass tacks here? Problem, what right? can I do to put Kim back where she belongs, huh? Come out of your mouth, okay? You're a man of your word. You're an upstanding man, right? God's sake, Jimmy. Come on, Chuck, extort me. Say quit, and I will quit. But I need to hear it from your mouth. You want me to commit a felony? Ha! <laughs> because that's what you do, right? Because you want to believe that deep down I'm some hypocrite. Let's find huh? out. <laughs> come on down, Chuck. Roll around in the dirt <laughs> with me. All your dreams will come true. Go on, do it. Go on. I am not the bad uh, guy here. You don't want to be a lawyer. That's between you and the New Mexico State Bar. Oh my God! Oh, well, that's his lie detector, right? Like someone's staring at you. Of course, you can be nervous. Not want to look him in the eye. Right? right. Tuco. <laughs> oh my God! Tuco is crazy. <laughs> Oh. oh! The fuck? Did you see that? See what? Little man. Mm. Just hit my car. Oh no. Do that on purpose. Yeah. He's trying to get you to come out and fight him when the police show up. Oh no. Oh, that's how his face got help. Oh, my At the be. beginning. Oh. He got the box and necklace Wait. thing on. Who does? Oh. 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 One lucky old man. Ah. Oh. Let go. Let go. Oh. Oh. Let go. Let go. Oh. Let go. Let go. Of course, Mike could just stand there taking it. Oh. 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 Still, you could have gotten twice as much for one tenth the hassle. You would have done the world a favor. Hmm. You wouldn't look like someone took a lead pipe to your face. Plus, when Tuco gets out, maybe he comes looking for you. Huh. Get to the point. Just saying, you went a long way to not pull that trigger. Yeah. Thanks, like, cause I'm, you know, he's like, I want to be better. I'm already having to do sketchy stuff. Your next shaman. He's like, I yeah. gotta commit murder. Right. To do that. Yeah. And give that money to his daughter in law. And granddaughter. Yeah. I mean, a bad man away. Rather than earn this money murdering. Right. Discussion time. Okay. So, pretty much. What's up with Mike? Oh, yeah. They're not showing up. Yeah. Mind. So. Naja wanted Mike to kill Tuco. <laughs> Mike didn't. <laughs> so he came up with this whole plan to get Tuco locked away. He seemed to, well, succeed in, in the fact that Luca, Luca, At least he's arrested. Tuco got arrested. But we know Tuco shows up in Breaking Bad, but we don't know how many years have passed. Right, right. Because Mike said he'd be like five to ten years stretch. So yeah. I don't know, like. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe this takes place five years before breaking. Yeah, maybe, who knows? You know, yeah, I, I have no clue. Ten years before, I have no clue. <laughs> no, I'm not really. No, because Kaylee looked about almost. She's that much older in Breaking Bad. Yeah, I don't know. Really? Maybe, maybe he gets out. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he gets a good lawyer. Maybe. Better call us all. <laughs> oh God, right? I um, don't know. right. Oh, that'd be ironic. Oh my God, uh, right? Well, time with Jimmy, so he got in trouble. Hmm. He thought that the partners at Clifford and Maine, that they would understand once they saw the numbers. Yeah. But that wasn't the point. The point was he went behind their back to do it. Well, and then the two, I don't think the commercials are like up to their standard for what they would want. But I don't know what that means, though. Well, I think because they're like a high end, I don't think they want something that looks like cheesy. They would want something more like sophisticated. Again, they're swirling Blah, blah, well, that's words. yeah. See, that's to them. That's sophisticated. That's the whole point. They would want something more like that than, than yeah. But that ain't gonna get them the call. Well, I know, but I'm just saying, that's not the point. The point is, is their reputation. They need a better marketing team, then. I'm just saying. They need to hire a good marketing I mean, company. I'm just. I'm only just saying. That's the problem. 
He went behind their back, I didn't know. get approval, and... But it was a good commercial, because it well, got them lots of calls. Well, they didn't like it. Well, they're weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, but poor Kim, she got in trouble. <sighs> like always, Kim is always getting into trouble when she tries to help Jimmy out. Poor yeah. Kim, poor Kim. Well, she... Because she didn't know about it. No. But she didn't want to tell Throw him under the bus either. that's Kim for you. Yeah. And but Jimmy told Chuck the truth. And he's trying to get Chuck to tell him to quit. You know, in exchange for giving Kim back her right. normal position. Right. But Chuck's like, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm not going to commit a felony. Oh, yes. We have a question. Chuck was wearing a watch. Yeah, so is that is he okay to wear that kind of watch, or is that a mistake on the part of the show? I, like, like that was it like that is that his like personal the the actor, and they just forgot to ha take it off. He wouldn't forget to take well, off that the shit, watch. That stuff could happen. Shows can make mistakes. Yeah, but or is it okay for him to wear that kind of a watch? I don't know, like because it, it's just it looks like it was just count, kind. Of, does that even count as electronics? I don't know. I think it's the electromagnetic electro. Magnetic. What's the fudge is that word? Well, why does everyone else have to take their watches off? I mean, is it is it different? Is it a different type of watch? I have no clue. You guys, let us know. We don't know. Should he? You know, is it okay for him to wear that, or is it a mistake on the part of the show? But I feel like they would have done multiple takes. They would have caught it. Especially they're so blatantly obvious. Well, did you see it unless I pointed it out? No. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. I don't even thought anything of it. <laughs> Mom, don't prove your point to me. <laughs> <sighs> well, and then Chuck had the audacity to tell um, Jimmy, he's like, you're like an alcoholic. Oh, God. <laughs> no, bro. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't admit you have a problem or whatever he said. And I'm just like, uh, hello. Um, oh, my God. You literally need to wear a space suit <laughs> to work because you can't stand electromagnetic. T what the fudge magnetic. is that like? Electromagnetic. Thank you. Thank you. I could not say the word. Thank you. But, yeah. Okay. Um, that was kind of it. Yeah. Yeah. So, we don't know if Kim's going to get her job back. Right. We'll see what Jimmy do. I'm going to do. Well, I mean, Kim does have a job. I just met her normal. Yeah. You know. Um, but, oh, yeah, and Kim, though, she said that they weren't broken up, but that if you went and talked to Howard, oh, they yeah. would break up. Yeah. And Jimmy's like, well, we're not broken up. <laughs> <laughs> he just assumed, <laughs> which I mean, hey. Which is probably, you know, kids probably thinking like, dude, when you when you have problems in a relationship, you work through them before you just instantly resort to breaking up. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. Either way, okay, dokie, I think that's kind of it. Well, okay, dokie, so yeah, get off the us. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to this episode of Better Call Saul. Um, and don't forget to subscribe, and comment, and share if you're new to our channel at all. <laughs> And if you want to watch our full-length reactions to our Better Call Saul reactions, you can find them out on my Patreon. And have a beautiful one for today. Goodbye. Good night. <laughs>